Hi, First United Methodist Church family. It's Charles. I hope that you're doing well today. Today I want to talk about eternal life. What is eternal life? Well, let's look at how Jesus defines it in John 17, verse 3. He says this, This is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. So, eternal life is to know the one true God, and to know his son, Jesus. Therefore, eternal life is a journey of knowing Jesus, a journey that starts right now and that continues forever. So it's both the future hope of knowing Jesus forever after we die and a present reality of knowing him while we are still alive. That's the hope of the gospel. Jesus came to give us a right relationship with God, a relationship that starts right now and that lasts forever. Jesus is the eternal life. He came so that we could share in the same kind of life that he lived, walking and talking and knowing the Father like he did. Let's look at this other scripture in 1 John chapter 1, verse 2. And the life was manifested, and we have seen and testify and proclaim to you the eternal life, which was with the Father and was manifested to us. What we've seen and heard, we proclaim to you also, so that you too may have fellowship with us. And indeed, our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus. And that word for fellowship in the Greek is koinonia. And one of the definitions of that word is shared reality, a shared reality. Notice how John talks about this fellowship being something that's happening right now something that is happening right now with the Father and His Son, Jesus Christ. We get to share in the reality of a relationship with the living God right now. It's eternal life, not something that begins in heaven, but something that begins in the here and now. I just want us to pause and think, the God who formed and fashioned the galaxies and who keeps the earth in motion, the same God, He desires a friendship with every one of us. It's not something we have to wait for. Jesus purchased a relationship with God for us. And the truth is, I want to know God as much as possible right now before heaven. He created me to know him, so I want knowing him to be the main thing that I focus on every day, everywhere I go. We're never going to go wrong in prioritizing Jesus. Let's pray. Father, thank you for the gift of eternal life. Thank you for inviting us into a beautiful relationship with you, Jesus. I ask that you would help us to center our lives around honoring and loving you. Help us not to settle for anything less than what you came to give us. Thank you for your unending mercy and your steadfast love. Help us to worship you and to pursue you with our heart, soul, mind, and strength. In the name of Jesus, amen. It's all
your 